and welcome to another video brought to you by TurboCamaro.ca. Today we're going to be doing an intercooler install on the 67 Camaro. Uh, just keep in mind, if you uh, enjoy these videos and you've been watching them, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing lots of videos over the next years, and I want to make sure that uh, you guys get constant updates. So do that if you can. And now we'll get into this. So I've got a Fantasy Motorsports and FM Racing, they go by. Fantasy Motorsports uh, 29 by 9 intercooler. This is a two and a half inch wide intercooler so it has two and a half inch outlets um, it is an ebay purchase about a hundred bucks or so uh, it's about the biggest i would want to go for where i'm going to put it you could probably go maybe a little bit bigger if you want to do some heavy modification but for what i'm doing this is going to be just right and it's still a pretty decent size intercooler for uh, for this application so um, what i'll go ahead and do is show you now where it's going to go uh, in this car i'm going to put it down in the slot between the radiator and the grill it's very common for a lot of cars but uh, this one it has some interesting challenges you've got a hood latch assembly here and then you got the hood latch support rail right down here that's uh kind of creates a bit of an odd shape gap and then the radiator looks like it's got some distance but it's mounted uh kind of on the other side of the uh the support here so you kind of have to wiggle it in between so first step to doing anything would be to measure of course that you can actually fit this intercooler in your car a 68 69 camaro of course any other chevy might not have exactly the same amount of room so you might want to measure so first things first get the hood latch assembly out of the way so one two three four and five uh, bolts to remove it i've already taken them out so you can remove it here and then it'll get hooked up with the actual latch you'll have to lift and sort of the hood latch out of the way you need to get the support system out and there's one two three and four right, so we've got the support removed you can see it here uh, now basically what i want is i want the intercooler to sit in front of the radiator but as far down as possible and you can see here that um, this basically mounts in the car just as it is it kind of goes like this where it stands up and now it stands up almost perfectly straight just like this so I want the intercooler to kind of sit in this bottom well here of the of the support now the issue is, is that it does sit kind of like this where it's not perfectly straight up and down it kind of comes up at an angle so with that i want to basically carve out whatever is necessary to make it so that it it does come up and the intercooler sits in kind of a crevice in this so i'm going to cut this support away about almost 50 percent just in this area right here, it's gonna slowly start narrow and then get to about 50% at the top, and I'll hack it off. I may increase the strength of this somehow, but for now, I'm going to basically hack this away so that when it sits sort of like this, uh, with it underneath, it, it allows it to fit into the actual support uh, behind the grill. So after the cuts, this is what we're left with here. You can see I just pretty much chopped a little bit further in the bottom just to square it off. And then it just went straight up to here. I did a little bit of uh, edging, but other than that, it's about an inch up here. And then just a little bit at the bottom and then just straight up. And now putting up against the intercooler, you can see that with it sitting underneath pretty flat, it's about wedged into the corner, about like that. I got a little bit extra space for up and down if I need to for the inlets and outlets adjustment, but for the most part, it should slide in there. We're gonna do a test fit now. All right, I said I would uh, be doing a test fit, but I decided just to fit it. There's no point in showing you what it looked like before I fit it. So here it is. I just did a metal bracket holding it to the hood latch support. And then I did a two longer brackets that go from the bottom of the intercooler over to some existing holes that are already there for the, uh, I guess it's like the lower valance. And the same thing on this side. And I tried to space it so there was about a finger width, maybe a little bit more um, on this sort of side here. This side's a little bit closer maybe, but it's tight. I put some rubber along the edge of this here in case there was any rubbing. I didn't want it to make any rattling noises. And that's about it. These are M8 bolts uh, they got a half inch head but they're actual m8 so uh, if you need to uh, have a sort of a chinese intercooler like this one that would be what you're going to need uh interesting thing is this silver intercooler you can see here actually through the front of the car under in the grill and to be totally honest i actually like the way that looks i think it looks pretty good despite it not being black like the rest of the car i'm overall pretty happy with that we'll see maybe i'll paint it at some point but for now the intercooler is in installed and now I just need to do the actual uh, piping for the turbocharger but I'll be doing that in the turbocharger video.
So that's that. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe on YouTube, that would be great, as well as checking us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching.